What's going on ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? Hope excited because today we have a complete beginner's guide to protecting your sports card. So if you're a new card collector, make sure you stick around on the channel. Got lots of beginning sport card collector tips. I'm gonna try to keep this video as brief as possible because I know when I was starting on sport card collecting, I hated watching long tutorials, so I'm gonna get right to the point. I just want to say very quickly that we do have our first sponsorship ever on a video on this channel. Uh, thank you to Northern Raz Room for sponsoring this video. We'll talk about them a little later, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's say you just bought your first box of hockey cards and you pulled a card you want to top load. Now, I top load all my young guns, my hockey cards, uh, but you don't have to. Like, for example, a lot of people wouldn't top load this Keith Middleton because he's not a big name, but I top load all my young guns. So let's say you pull a card, you're ready, you want to protect it, make sure it's in good condition uh, long term sort of thing. The main thing I I didn't know when I was a beginning card collector, and I think a lot of people don't realize, is you can pull a card out of a pack and it not be in perfect condition. Now, I, I assumed every single card I pulled out of a pack when I first started, it was a good condition because I, I took good care of it. I put it in a top loader, I put it in a sleeve. Everything I was supposed to do, how, like, all my cards should be PSA 10s. That is not the case because sometimes they come out of the packs damaged. As you can see here on the Keaton Middleton, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see there is some edge wear on that card. So a lot of these cards will have issues either with the centering, with the corners. So even if you do completely follow all the steps in this video, doesn't mean you have a PSA 10 card just because a lot of the damage issues just come from the manufacturer. So I just wanted to get that quick out of the way. And the next thing we're going to talk about here is actually going to be different card sizes. So it's important to make sure that when protecting sports cards, you put them in the appropriate size top loader or one touch or whatever. And this was a confusing thing to me at, at the start. A standard trading card, I'll throw up a picture on screen of the size. It's like a size grid. I'll also put it in the description so you guys can print it off if you'd like, if you have any questions about like what top loaders to buy and whatnot. Standard trading card is usually around 35 points uh these are what the top loaders typically look like uh three by four regular top loaders or 35 point top loaders uh yeah just basic top loaders ultra pro is the most common brand you'll find but there is other brands like bcw so yeah for a standard card uh you're gonna need two things you're gonna need those top loaders i just showed and these soft sleeves now this is something i didn't realize when i first started collecting cards is that when you put a card into a top loader you must first place it into a card sleeve so that that card doesn't get scratched inside the top loader now these soft sleeves a lot of them do come with top loaders so make sure if you're buying them online somewhere make sure that either they come with it or you're buying them separately these ones i have here are pristine uh these came out of those dollar ram surprise bag that's a good way to get them but ultra pro and other companies also make them they're just they're pretty cheap soft card sleeves that's all you need what you're going to do then you're going to take your soft card sleeve and carefully slide your card in just like that so there you go and it's now set in a soft card sleeve these are also referred to as penny sleeves i re mostly refer to them as soft sleeves but you will hear both terms so then for a standard card you would take your 35.1 touch and just slide it in as so you can eat i see a lot of people hand, hit it like this with their hand i don't typically do that what i do is i'll just gently very gently push it down but i do see a lot of people do the hand method to get it to sit all the way at the bottom and there you go your cards well protected here in this uh top loader now if you were to ship this card you would have to use either a team bag or painter's tape at the top to make sure the top sealed because in shipping if it's moving around a lot it could fall out of the top uh i'm not saying it's going to happen but to ensure that your card's secure if you do go to ship a card make sure you have either team bag or painter's tape on the top of your top loader so that's, that's it, how to protect a standard trading card like a, a normal size trading card like a pokemon card anything like that uh that is for those ones top loaders uh now let's say you pull a jersey card now jersey cards obviously are a thicker stock these are typically 75 points so the standards are typically 35 75 and then these patches i think are like 130 to 180 depends how thick of a patch you get uh for these ones uh you can use uh these sleeves it can be tight uh here i'll give it a try 
So I just put it into the standard sleeve. It does just fit. Uh, there is also super thick uh, sleeves. I'll throw up a picture on screen of them. I don't have any on me right now, but those are an option if you do get a bigger patch card. Like for the, these patch cards, you will need a thicker soft sleeve if you're putting them into a top loader. But uh, for these, they the jersey the basic jersey cards do fit into a normal soft sleeve. And then you'll need a 75 point one touch or a top loader. We'll touch on one touches here in a little bit. I'm actually gonna show you guys the thicker one, the top loaders here with this Alex Belzeal RPA. If I take this out, I'm gonna be really careful in taking cards out of top loaders and such. Just see how thick that top loader is compared to the standard top loader here on this Keaton Middleton. Just way, way thicker because it's a thicker card stock and this is the super thick uh, sleeves. You can tell right away, it's just a lot bigger there. So yeah, different sizes. So for the most part, you should be set with the standard uh top loaders 35 point is what you're after and before we get into the next part of the video i want to give a quick shout out to northern raz room thank you so much for sponsoring today's video if you guys are a new card collector and you're looking to add some cards to your collection but you don't really want to pay full price for those big cards look no further than northern raz room uh even if you're not a beginning card collector and just want to add some cards to your pc razes can be a great way and there's no place better to do it than northern raz room on facebook Northern Raz Rooms, a Facebook group that a friend of mine created, and we're looking to razz off many different sport cards, including hockey cards, football cards, basketball cards, baseball cards, and maybe more. If you're a new collector, Raz is basically just a raffle. So one Raz might have 10 spots for $10 each, and the card's worth 100 bucks. You can then choose to buy as many spots in the Raz as you would like. This is a good way to build up your collection for cheap, but keep in mind that you do run a risk. Uh, you're only guaranteed the card if your spot you purchase is the spot that was drawn or spun, and therefore you would win the said card, just like a raffle. All you have to do to join the Raz Room is just simply click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen now to join. I am a moderator in the Raz Room, so if you guys do have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me either on Instagram, Facebook, or uh, in the YouTube comment section below. All the razors in this Raz room are 100% legit, and thank you to Northern Raz Rooms for sponsoring this video. So top loaders aren't the only way to protect your cards. You also have one touches. Now I really like one touches. Some people don't use them. There's pros and cons to one touches. One touches are basically a magnetic case to enclose your cards. They just kind of pop open like that. And you see there, you just put your card in. No need to put a soft sleeve when you use one touches and you just kind of put it back on like that. This is a basic uh, 35 point one touch uh, like that. They, cu they come like this when they're sealed. So here you can see 35 point one touch. Uh, that's what you'd put like this Keaton Middleton, a standard card in there. You put that into there. And this is a 181 touch. This is for those thicker patch cards, something like that back there. Uh, you'd put that in this, but these are like two of the different brands brands like ultra pros the most common one you'll see at hobby shops and whatnot online bcw another common one i see uh either or works so basically the same thing here we go i'll just put this justin richards inside so you guys can see uh how it looks so you just pop it in there closes up and there you go, you got your card in the one touch. Very, I, th I really like the look of these, very clean. And I do actually, I have one touch sleeves I put on these. This isn't a necessity, but I like to use these one touch resealable, resealable bags from Ultra Pro because then your one touch doesn't get scratched. The reason this one doesn't have a sleeve on is because I actually bought a card off someone with this one touch in it. And then I got the card graded that was in the one touch. So I still have the one touch because uh, it is already marked up and stuff already. So I didn't put a sleeve on it. So uh, yeah, I always put sleeves on my one touches in my graded cards, but that's just me because I don't want the cases to get scratched. Uh, I recommend doing it, but it's not a necessity, like I said. So I'm sure some of you are one Wondering, when would you one touch a card and when would you top load and honestly it's completely personal preference for higher value cards i tend to one touch but that's just me uh the the downside of the one touches is these are magnetic and if you drop them they will probably pop open so i see people sometimes uh tape them with painters tape to make sure they stay shut uh, tape the top magnets that is or they put a sleeve on them so if you do drop it at least it's in the sleeve uh, but yeah a lot more risk if you were to drop a card in a one touch than a top loader but then again how many situations are you going to be in where you're going to be dropping cards just be extra careful when you're handling cards in one touch is pretty much i just really like to look at them like that jake evans back there in the one touch you can actually compare uh, Jake Evans there in one touch to the Jake Evans RPA right there. Uh, I just like the look of them better, but it's complete personal preference. 
One touches are also more expensive. Uh, you can buy a bulk and top. You can buy, get 200 top loaders for about 40 bucks, and I bet you uh, 10 top 10 one touches will probably run you 25 to 30. So definitely top loader for the cheaper cards. And if you do like one touches and want to get some, uh, definitely do that for your more expensive cards. So yeah, guys, I try to be really quick and cover as much as possible when collecting sports cards or protecting your sport cards, I should say. Uh, one thing I will quickly touch on is for graded cards, uh, they do cut, they're pretty well protected already, but I do put sleeves, like I said earlier. So for Beck and MNT, I use these gradable sleeves to make sure this, the cases don't get scratched. And for PSA, you can actually get uh, these from Cardboard Gold. They're a perfect fit for PSA slabs, and they actually say PSA along the bottom here. I'll grab one right now quick to show you guys what I mean. See here on, how on my Ovechkin, it says PSA along the bottom, and the sleeve fits perfectly. That way, no scratches will happen on the case, and you get a nice little PSA logo. Sometimes PSA will actually send the cards back to you already in these sleeves, and that's fine. Uh, but if the cards come back and there's no sleeves on them, I like to put a sleeve on them. So yeah, nice little sleeve there. So yeah, guys, that was my little protecting sport cards 101. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I try to be really quick because I like these tutorial videos to be quick. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Thank you to Northern Raz Rooms once again for sponsoring today's video. And make sure you guys check it out, that Facebook group, join up, and hopefully join in some Raz. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one.